Now we go back to COVID-19. Scientists say it comes from bats, but some are questioning the nature of the virus, noting some unusual and unnatural compositions of the virus. Is something amiss? Greg Rubini, a citizen investigator and a monitored source amongst a certain set in the D.C. intelligence community, raises intriguing connections linking the Wuhan coronavirus to a biosafety level three lab in North Carolina. In December 2015, the National Library of Medicine published a study by 15 virologists and medical experts. The article warns SARS-like cluster of circulating bat coronavirus pose threat for human emergence. Turns out the scientists in the study have studied coronaviruses for collective decades. This particular medical article elaborates how a team of scientists in studying how SARS and MERS were transmitting amongst humans took a strain of coronavirus from the Chinese horseshoe bat and modified it using gain of function technology. They then injected this strain of coronavirus into the spinal cords of mice. The article is a fascinating exploration of what happens. In the process of warning the medical community of the lurking dangers of coronavirus in bats, the study appears to have taken the virus and amplified its contagion ability to better understand and prepare for a future outbreak. A useful exercise if the virus remained safely contained in this biosafety lab in North Carolina.